Hey guys, it's Colin from Hollywood Studios here and welcome to the Lone Star Summer Trip Travel Vlog. Clearly we are still in New Jersey. Uh, we are on the Garden State Parkway heading north towards Newark Liberty Airport. It is currently 6 o'clock in the morning. Flight leaves at about 8.45 in the morning, so just a couple hours away from that flight. Uh, we will be flying into St. Louis and heading over to Six Lakes St. Louis. So All right, guys, you're now over here in the airport. We are in Terminal C. There's our flight right there to St. Louis, Missouri. Um, flight boards in about an hour, so we're just gonna kind of chill over here, you know, take a break, get ready for the flight, and yeah, we'll see you guys on the plane. So here we are, we're ready to take our first ride of the trip. Pretty excited, I think this is gonna be one of the fastest rides. Uh, well, I don't know, a couple hundred miles an hour. So this should be a, a good one. So we're just waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Got off the plane. We're here in St. Louis, Missouri, with my dad and Chris up there. Um, we're gonna go check in, get our rental car, and head to Six Flags St. Louis. Your baggage. Get of your course, baggage. the baggage, but that's that's a given. It's very hot in this tunnel. Jeez. Here we are, St. Louis Airport. Wow.
for the afternoon this morning. Go out and kind of loop around this yeah. thing. Alright guys, you're now inside Six Flags St. Louis. This entrance is really, really nice. Six Flags over Mid-America was the original name. There you go. Yeah. And uh, I'm not sure which ride we're going to head to first. But this entrance is really nice. I say we head this way first. Because why not? Here we are by American Thunder, the park's GCI wooden coaster. This ride looks pretty good. Pretty excited to ride it. Alrighty, we will see you guys when we get off of American Thunder, the first ride of the day. Thunder. That was a great, solid GCI. Um, Dad, what did you think of American Thunder? Oh, it was it was surprising. It was really good. Yeah, that yeah, definitely a great ride. Um, I think next, I'm not sure where we're heading next. Um, we're just going to kind of follow the park layout. Chris, what did you think of American Thunder? I loved it. It was a great first ride for our trip. Definitely a great first ride for the trip. All right, guys, we just got off of Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast. That ride was absolutely ridiculous. And I think those two could back me up on that opinion. Oh, that was great. I've been waiting a long time to ride that. Yeah, same here. And I, it definitely lived up to the hype. So now we're going to go ride Batman, the mirror image clone of Batman A Great Adventure. So, yeah, we'll see you guys later. We've officially ridden every single coaster here at Six Flags St. Louis in the matter of just a few hours. So when you come to this park, you don't really need that much time here. Um, there's nine coasters, but you're able to do them all pretty quickly. Uh, we just got off of the bus. That was a yeah. crazy, crazy ride. What'd that you think? That was nuts. I couldn't imagine what it was like when the Helix was there. Yeah. Chris, what'd you think of the bus? I compare it to El Toro. It's not as good, but it's up there. Yeah, a little definitely. rougher than El Toro, but it's a good It's ride. definitely rough, but the layout is nuts. There's some great airtime pops. I also forgot to mention some other coasters we rode earlier. Ninja lives up to its terrible hype. Um, Pandemonium was pretty fun. The Mine Train had a really nice ending. The Boomerang was pretty meh. Standard Boomerang. That's actually the old Helix from the Boss, and they retracted it. Definitely a great nine coasters, I believe. Yep. Oh, yeah, and Screaming Eagle. Screaming Eagle was a lot of fun, too. Great um layout that you really don't see but um that's gonna be it for in terms of like new coasters here obviously gonna still go around the park and get some footage and i'll likely film a vlog clip before we leave but yeah six flags st louis gets way too much hate i don't know if it's just us that's having like a really really good experience but this park is great one of the it's a, it's a really good six flags park definitely a great Gotta park. added into a trip oh yeah 100 percent. this is definitely a must do park as long as you're in the area of course like if you're going to silver alley city and worlds of fun you need to come to Six Flags St. Louis. Let's do the, the, the Triangle of Missouri. Exactly. Mr. Freeze is fantastic. The Boss is great. American Thunder is great. Screaming Eagle's fun. And a lot of the other supporting coasters are great too. You're going to go get something to eat and get some footage. Alright, 
guys, so we just finished our day here at Six Flags St. Louis in Eureka, Missouri. This park is super nice. You guys can see Mr. Freeze behind me, kind of. Yep, there it goes. There's Chris, there's my dad. I think they both agree with me when I say this park is super over underrated. I almost said overrated. This park gets too much hate and it's a really, really fun place to go. Um, definitely stop here if you're in Missouri. Uh, especially if you have the pass, it's free to get in, free to eat. So really, really nice park. Chris, what are your thoughts? 10. Oh yeah. Dad, what are your thoughts? Great park. You got to make it part of your trip if you're out this way. I don't know why it's so hated, but I had a great day here today. All the rides are great. Same here. There's only, when you really think about it, they have nine coasters here, which is quite a bit considering the size of this park. And in my personal opinion, only two of them are bad. So like, I don't understand why the park gets so much hate. All the rides here are really, really good. And I personally really, really like this park. That's gonna do it for this vlog. Okay. Let me add one more thing. The staff is super friendly. Yes, the staff is very friendly.